It's feed back gaming. Well, it initially seemed we were losing. Then we had a massive breakthrough and we were winning. And now it appears that we are beaten up, rotten, and we are losing so freaking badly. Um, the Western Front is slowly but truly creeping into Germany now. They've gained a few provinces inside of Germany. Uh, Italy, we've taken them, we capitulate, capitulated them, and then we took them again, and then we pushed them back over and over and over again. They really are causing us a lot of problems. Um, but UK, France, and the Mountain United States are really causing us nightmares. Uh, yep, yeah, it is causing so many issues. So, other issues, we have a new pocket that's formed from an amphibious landing. We have a pocket from the UK here. The Chinese are pushing us into the west, but we are making gains here. So, Operation, last opportunity, last resort, last chance, this is it. And this is what we're going to do. So, the plan is simply this. We use our tank division to push this pocket in Saudi Arabia all the way back. That is the plan. Cut them off here and uh, we leave them stranded in the side of Arabia. Which should be okay. Um, I think that should contain them for the time being. And then we move this tank army into China. And we start doing some devastating damage inside of China. That is the plan anyway. I think when we come up here we can smash through here too to make sure this pocket doesn't close behind us as well. Um, yep. I'm trying to tell these guys to be as careful as possible. There's a few troops who've got stuck here as well. Can we ever help them out? Nope. It's not going to happen. Okay. We'll probably free them when we come back. So let's do what we need to do. I could make... I See, I have a lot of manpower and I'm only on service by requirement. So I could go all adult serve and I could go scraping. But the issue is that I don't have a lot of production on guns right now. I guess if we wanted to, we could go all guns. Uh, so let's say we just make a... I'm trying to make an easier transition here. I don't... I don't want to do anything that I don't need to, and uh, I feel like we're going to have to take the oppression as well. We're going to have to take all the suppression, so we'll we'll uh, we'll take care of that later anyway. You guys coming down? Oh damn, you're taking your time, boys. Come on, come on. See, we're actually pushing into mainland China here. We're getting access to all their victory points here. I'm pretty certain if we take all of their east coast, they'll give up. They have got 90% national unity, though. So, that is something else we have to be aware of. This is a pain in the ass as well. China, India's pushing into us. Anywho, so, our guys have arrived, mainly. Come on, guys, where are you? Come on. Uh, where Alright, that'll be enough. Aggressive, push, go, crush, kill, destroy, everyone else go, boom. There's not actually any troops here, which is kind of confusing. But any troops that do arrive, we're going to plow into them at high speed anyhow. Befriend Persia, for some apparent reason. Um, you're going to go through the center, take Jerusalem. Perfect. Alright, objective one has been complete. We've liberate, liberated the Suez Canal. Now we need to make it easy for our troops by closing the gaps. Um, and to do that we'll have to push into here. And whenever you're ready guys, go kick ass. Go, go, go. No time to mess around too, just go for it.
And you guys go here and circle around them. Okay, that's good. You, I want you to be aggressive and I want you to start attacking. You, you're going to hold this front here. They're breaking out and they're ripping us apart, but, oh man. They're making another push in the west as well, so this is, oh man, the time is ticking. It's like a time bomb. I've tried to push into the French line too many times in the west and I, I've given up because I don't think I'll get through it. It's just too strong. We're only going to get through it as we soften we soften all the enemies to the east as well. And we have to get rid of China. China is the weak link, so we have to get rid of China ASAP. And uh, we, we're doing quite well in the east, but still. Um, yeah, okay. Come on, guys. Close the gaps. Come on. All right, we need troops on this area now. Um, can we put some troops here, please? Oh, that cancels all the suppression orders, doesn't it? Fuck. Yeah, go here and go here. All right, so grab all the ports. Where's the next port? The next one's here. Armored Spearhead, which is a good one. Gets 20% breakthrough. Tank organization and recovery rate. Cool. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. We're really far on tanks, but we're making a lot of new tanks, which is good. New, new, new tanks. Is there anything we can spare our production with? No, because we're making these because we need them. And supply, we need them. And artillery, we need them. And guns, we need them. There's nothing we can sacrifice. There's nothing we can say, oh, we don't need them. Because we need everything. Every single last morsel is super important right now. I don't... I, I feel like if we don't clear this up with every last troop, that we're going to end up fighting these guys over and over and over again. So I need to clear them up. So, can we get these guys yet? No, got them. Alright, got that port. That one's clear. Can you clear those out, guys? Get this dude. Yep. Alright, that's it. All the ports have been grabbed now. Can we push into these, please? Oh, there's a port here we've not grabbed. I think we did have that port a little while ago. Oh, no. We did, and we've got it again. Okay. It's good. Any ports here or anything here? No, nope, we're all good. Just don't want them to grab another port again. Go down here. Go down here. Go through here. All right, so we've cleared out the Arabian Peninsula, I think, mostly. Coordinated fleet move. Powerful battle, f battle fleet raid. Detect raid uh, sub detection twenty percent. Destroyer organization. Cool. All right, that's good. And I feel like the final nail in the coffin is to take out that one there, and then we're done. Oh, there's a few troops here. Can we clear these, please? There's tanks as well. Oh, we're piercing the tanks, though. We got them. We got them. Got them. All right. Wow, we did it. Okay, so that's that's objective one complete. Um, you guys, objective is gonna go here and go here. 
Need to clear this up first. Can we come here and just take out this artillery so I can sleep at night? Artillery has got some wicked attack as well. Got him. Alright, okay, great. So that's Operation 1 complete. Operation 2 is to try and leverage these pockets here in Asia. And we're going to do that by jamming our noses in here. Can we attack here? Oh, why can't we push into here? Oh, it's there. That's Oh, shit. Fuck. There. Go. Perfect. Right, guys. Go, go, go. Let's not waste any time. Let's get the hell out of here. And everyone else. Come on, guys. We need you guys to defend this front line. Um... Can't lose it again. Oh shit, this is bad. This is bad. Ah, damn it. I feel like any opportunity to push them back in this instance, we're going to end up losing anyway. Oh, we can't push the Chinese. We can't do it. We haven't got enough time, I don't think. But we're pushing so far into China. Oh, man. Armour's 2.6. It's because we've got barely any heavy tanks anymore. This hasn't even got any heavy tanks anymore. How many heavy tanks have we got overall now? I bet we've not got that many. We've lost them all. We have 30 heavy tanks. Alright, well, it's reached the stage now that we can just convert them over because we don't even have any heavy tanks anymore. So, modern infantry, light tank. And I've got a funny feeling that... The arm is still too low. Actually, it might be alright. So the piercing on this is 5. What is the piercing on this? Artillery piercing. Piercing is... Doesn't say, does it? So the most advanced gun we've got right now, this gun has a piercing of 1. 1. And the artillery has a piercing of 2. So... If we add a tank onto this, we probably need to add two. Let's get 1.5. Even then, it's still not that high, is it? Mm. See, this is why light tanks aren't that great. All right, guys, are we moving into these guys? Come on, we, we meant. To, where's, our, where's our troops? Where are you? Guys, come on, move, please. Oh my god, it's like a matter of life and death, and you just sit in there, you're not doing anything. <laughs> Alright, okay, please move. God, it's getting frustrating now. Move, please. There we go, they're actually moving, thank goodness. Okay, um, massive effort, good. Anything we can need here? No. Add forts to the state. Sure, why not? Who cares? Ah, uh, convoy is good. Another pocket in Japan. Ooh, actually pushing into... There's no troops on this border! Holy shit, this is an opportunity that I can't say no to! I'm gonna have to do it. Oh, shh. The problem is they could move the troops down so quick. They could move them so quick. <laughs> oh, no! Ah. Oh. Uh. No, I'm going to do the original plan. I'm going to do my original plan. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, god damn. We're pushing into there. That's what we're doing. It'd be really nice if we had some troops, though, just to just push into there. Oh, man. So there's, there's troops on this front line. There's troops here. All right, you guys are going to mix. You guys are going to become... Division infantry. No, all of you. All of you from division infantry. All of you. In fact, you're going to join the Chinese front line. Um, eleven divisions. And you guys. I'm clenching so ferociously hard. Um, they're moving troops here now, are they? Why isn't Austro-Hungary taking advantage of this? <laughs> Please move! Move your troops! Alright, you're moving in now, right? Yeah? Right? 
convert those 24, haven't I? Who's the field marshal? What is he doing? I don't think the field marshal's doing anything, is he? He was this guy. Oh, he's controlling the scrubs. Have have this guy instead. All right, okay. This guy is going to go here and he's going to push in immediately and be aggressive and fucking wreck the French, okay? You are you are the French destroyers. Oh man, look at the guns. These divisions are all like under strength as well. Look how low strength they are. They need guns, they need artillery. We're not behind on artillery, are we? No, we're not. I've changed my mind. In fact, what we're going to do is... You guys are going to go here, and you're going to play the defense on this front line. And then the guys who are on the Suez Canal... You are going to be the French liberators. Aggressive attack. All right. Okay. So they can do. They're all right on defensive duty. Okay. Supplies an issue here, which I thought it would be. Oh, American troops! No, you're ruining my push. All right. These are the like priority troops. Priority troops here. Because they're the ones attacking into the the Ottomans. Uh, the Chinese. Why are you guys like so lagging behind? What the hell, dude? Railroad, please. I can feel the desperation, guys. I can cut it with a knife. Alright, can you actually pierce these divisions? They can pierce some of them. This division can pierce two of the three enemy divisions, right, okay. So this is probably not going to be as effective. We've still got light tanks with behind on as well. But the production is a lot higher than it once was. Yeah, it can produce three a day. I think maybe you attach more to the division than you once did though, I think. So one, oop, one light tank is equivalent to 60, where a heavy... It's 40. Okay. So now I think about it, it kind of breaks even, doesn't it? Oh no, please! Alright, you guys are pushing in here. You can start my attacking now. Oh, these are the guys pushing to the Chinese, aren't they? Yeah, they are. These guys? I'll put that to the top. We don't need as much steel, not as much wood. Where are my troops? Are they coming? Yeah, they're coming. Okay. So we're holding them back by a, a slight degree. So they, they are serving a purpose, those troops. What do you need? Need everything. Hey, nice little pockets. Nice. Have they got more speed? They seem faster to me. No, nope, same speed. So relieve this area a little bit. The 
The Western Front is still holding firm. Our troops have arrived. Why aren't you guys moving? Please move. Guys, come on. There's like a, an opportunity of a lifetime here. Why are you letting it go? New battle cruiser that we'll never use. Uh, da, 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 da. Extra reliability. R -r 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 reliability. Need the steel again. Why is there no one here? Where are you guys? This is an opportunity of a lifetime. We have to take advantage of it. This is a Japanese pocket. Why are there no troops here? That's really weird, isn't it? I must take advantage of the AI. I must exploit the AI. Are we suffering some crazy attrition here? Okay, that's good. Alright, what are we doing now? So, where is our tank divisions? And we're just forcefully pushing ourselves in there. That's good. Perfect. Alright, time to make gains towards into China. Okay, the supply now is going to go completely broken. I know it is. So, supply is getting weaved around this area because this is where all the supply is. So, this is, seems kind of stupid, but we're going to have to try and boost this area as much as possible. Um, nope. Yep, all those four areas are inquir required. Come by, go, go, go. So they've connected up these troops here, that's interesting. So, I uh, I didn't think this lasts very long. There's a lot of Japanese troops here now. Uh, convoys. Whoa, our fleet's doing quite well here. Subs, 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 subs. I feel like it might. This might be the beginning of the end. So in that case, I don't really want to just be sitting idle. So in that case, I feel like I need to be doing something. In that circumstance, I feel like I'm just going to be very active with my fleet. So, these are the Americans and Austro-Hungarian fleets. Yeah, this could be the beginning of the end. So, in that circumstance, I don't really want to be just sitting on my hands. So, I need to be active. So, in this case, let's, um, let's use that fleet. Because otherwise, we might not get another opportunity to use it ever again. Losing convoys. Convoys are still pretty good. We've always been around 200 convoys. We've just only recently, very, very, very recently, lost a lot of the initial convoys. All right, guys. When you're ready, attack, crush, kill, destroy. And yet again, really be barbaric. Don't mess around. Civilian construction. Cool. Remove claims on Albania. Uh, whatever. Needs not to in a faction. Must befriend Greece. At peace with Greece. Hey, hey, it rhymes. What do we need? Tanks. How many tanks has this division got? 26 wee Ottomans. This is not the kind of breakthrough I was expecting. I think the supply here is absolutely devastatingly bad. So... Do we think of some kind of a contingency plan here? Do we think of a way that maybe we could make the division smaller, just temporarily? That just feels really weak. I don't know if that's even going to make a dent in their armor. We'll give it a shot though. going to give us a lot of guns back anyway, that's for sure. Uh, this army here 
No, it's the one defending Greece. Oh, they're getting bombarded. Oh no! Oh no! Oh man, every time I make an encirclement and I kill off like a huge pocket, there's just some more that come in. They are relentless. And they're going to close our pocket behind us here as well. This pocket in the Balkans is it's pretty brutal. Not reinforced this area though, which is weird, isn't it? What do we need? Tanks again. Alright, supplies now a lot better, but still overwhelmingly bad. Very, 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 very bad. Can we just be aggressive and just try? Do or do not. Do not try. Oh man, if I could do this again, I'd do so many things differently. So many things differently. So this interwar period just leaves you with like very little things to research. Everything's like at least five, ten years ahead of time. So right now there's just a lot of waiting. It'd be kind of cool if there's some kind of way of in the game to implement a way of time traveling faster forward, like an event that makes ten years go forward or something like that. That would be kind of cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. What do we do? What do we do? Schwerpunkt organization and recovery rate. Yeah, so with this higher difficulty, one of the devastating things I've found is the reduction in efficiency cap. And it is, it does sting really badly because you just don't have the production to keep up with everyone else. The AI outproduces you quite, quite frantically. 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 Alright, we're actually kind of holding. What I was going to do is, is disband half of these divisions. That was the plan. And the idea behind that was to try and uh, free up some army equipment. I'm starting to think that maybe army equipment is going to be what's going to end this, not tanks. I'm actually tempted to get rid of the tanks. What do you think? What do you think? Alright, we have entered Operation Desperation. In this circumstance, we need to be... We need to be ending this. So in this case, it's time to make loads of weapons. Create loads of divisions. And... Wish for the best. Pray. We need to pray. Alright, I guess we probably should have another spare tank division at the bottom, just in case we have any flow over. Hey, we're into Republic of China's territory, nice. Losing some subs. Win against the... Can we be a bit more aggressive, please? We got any enemies? No. It says there's enemies here. There's enemies here, too. Alright, we're kind of holding them a wee bit here, so I think we'll hold those troops where they are, just for now. Artillery, I guess we can go for that. Get some modern artillery. Those tanks aren't helping us out, are they? Nope. Oh man, it's not helping us at all. There's just too many troops here, they're, they're, they can swarm us really well. Oh no! Don't lose them. This is op this is this can't get any more desperate right now, can it? Hmm. I think what we'll do as well is maybe make the front line. No, because we can't make the front line shorter. Because you think about it, we need to be able to keep the supply going, don't we? Ah, we can't do that either. Ouch. <laughs> We're losing factories too. Oh, they're pushing into our territory too. Oh no. All right, so the opportunity here is just stupid. I don't think we can we can make anything of this. This is this is GG, son. All right, we need to get out of here. So in this circumstance, we need to escort, don't we? Can we escort you out, please? Yep. Yeah, we accept we've lost this area. I don't like to lose, but we have to give up. 
in this circumstance. We can't. We have to ban an Italian theatre. In this case, we need to defend our capital. That's priority number one now. What? Is there not a port here? Oh, there's not. The next port is here in Genoa. Alright, okay. Can we go to Cyprus, please? Not Cyprus. What's this? I forgot what this island's called. Corfu, is it? Corfu. Don't know. Where's our boats? Help us out. Dude, come on. I'm actually interested to see how this battle's going to go down, you know, because there's a lot of destroyers and a lot of submarines. And these are actually kind of like really technically advanced subs too, aren't they? Where are you going? Come back! <laughs> oh no! Don't! Why have they... Why are they all here? Oh, uh, it's because there's multiple fleets, isn't there? I think that's what it is. We managed to get 11 of them back, though. I think we still took some losses, though. Oh no... Oh no. Tank divisions are now going to join up with this army. We need a field marshal. This guy. Guys, seriously. If there's an opportunity here, any bright ideas, I'm willing to take them. Okay. There's another pocket formed there in northern Germany too. Holding out on the western front though. There's not a lot of troops left though. I think all of the troops are spread out really thin all over the place. I think that's the issue. Belgium's scraping the barrel. They've only got one division left. What? That can't be right. I think the only real way you can win World War One, guys is if you... Uh, Oh, goodbye, convoys. Rip. Alright, you guys are going to defend my capital. You guys are trying to hold in the northern pocket. Shit, man, this pocket is fucking huge. I don't think we're going to have to push them into China, you know. Something's telling me this is not going to go well. How's the Egyptian front going? Need a general here. Can we try counterattacking them? I think that's actually working. Having issues with supplies from Germany, which makes sense because we don't we're not actually connected to them anymore. And they're having issues getting to ports as well. Okay, so we need to milk all our manpower. We need to, every single man needs to be holding a gun. There will be no Treaty of Versailles. No surrender. This guy. Oh yeah, yeah, this guy, yep. Oh, and they're breaking out here as well. How come you guys aren't moving? I don't know. Let's reset your orders. And we probably should have a few divisions down here holding this, can, trying to contain the Indians in. Supplies still broken here. Bases have low supply.
go, go, go. No, not making any gains at all there. I don't think that's even po it's worthwhile. It seems to me like when you make a really, 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 really big front line, it, the game gets a little bit confused. The front line's so devastatingly big, it's like, I don't know, they don't really understand where they're attacking into. Convoys are a bit of an issue. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's put our sh fleet on search and destroy and see if we can hit something. Hmm. It looked like they were stuck then, didn't it? Alright, we see a big naval battle. Losing one American sub. There's a lot of American submarines here, isn't there? Absolutely tons. Okay, that's abandoning claims. <laughs> I don't think it really matters now. Oh no. Pushing up through Serbia again. Go aggressive. I feel like it might not look like it might look like we're losing, but I think we've actually got quite a lot of fight left in this. Because think about it, we've got all adult serve and scraping the barrel still to go. And uh, I think the only thing holding us back is the fact that we can't put a gun in everyone's hand yet. That's the only thing that's holding us back. Uh, I can get steel, but I don't know where from. Wood. Why don't we now have as much production? What's going on? Oh, it's because Germany doesn't have as much anymore because it's gotten surrounded, of course. Sweden going to give us some wood? Swedish wood? Please. Please, I'm so poor. Alright. This front line. Go, go. I don't think we're going to make any gains on that line. Uh, no. We're struggling to push into them here. Where are we going wrong? River crossing, low supply, planning advantage, bonus. Hmm, okay. So. All right. So this front line's fallen. We can't we can't push it anymore. We made we made some crazy gains to get this far though uh, on this front line, but the front line's broken now. We can't we can't sustain it anymore. So we're gonna have to pull back. The front line is huge. Uh, I feel like we should close this pocket, maybe? I don't know, this is absolute desperation now. Three troops here. You guys all join here. Operation Red Alert. There we go. Last stand. These are the capital defenders. These are the guys that are defending Africa. I feel like we've got way too many tank divisions now as well. How many tanks we got? Barely any. How many tanks have we actually got? Let's have a look. Can we actually get some numbers on that? Oh, 347. That's probably enough for about four divisions. It's just barely any. Yeah, that's barely any. Guys, if you enjoyed this episode, remember to like and subscribe and drop us a comment below how you feel this series is going. I won't accept any other words other than sad. Very, very sad. Guys, I hope you have an awesome day, and thank you for the feedback. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.